Oh, uh, this is another tutorial. I'm not the greatest player. I used to be uh, with the three, uh, three KDR, right? Three KDR with the uh, at least, I would say, uh, eight hundred scope per minute, which really shows your uh, activity, yeah, how active you are in the uh, in the game. So this is what I do before any game. Uh, try to warm up as you do, even like you do for sports or anything. It is a sport for me. <coughs> Uh, gaming is basically can teach you a lot. Game can teach you a lot. Uh, skills like hand and eye coordination, uh, improve uh, reaction time. Uh, and there was a study done that if you play games, gamers in general had a better color. Uh, what do you call it? Indicator. Uh, they could see color better, right? Uh, than non-gamers. <coughs> So I, I like to start off, just get comfortable with my movement, with the sensitivity, right, with the crouching, and basically what I'm trying to do uh, is use the sniper mentality. And snipers usually, if somebody's right there, right, say I A, A is an enemy, they usually try to quit scope, they probably like bring their scope up and then, you know, drag scope, like that. That's what I'm basically trying to do, <clears throat> is uh, to bring my crosshair, so you see that box, it's right in that box, right, that, uh, or should I say diamond, just right in that diamond, and before I even get there, I try to scope in, so I know where the enemy's gonna be, like, like that, and basically, and uh, um, because of my leg, I usually, I try going for headshots. Uh, for headshot, what you want to do is, you know, first measure where your headshot is, because all the characters are basically the same height. So that's basically going to be chest. Head's going to be here, right? That's going to be chest. <coughs> because the FPS game, they all have their head glitch, where you basically, you know, this is your, basically your head, your gun. The camera view is from your gun, not from your head. So that's gonna be head. So I always try to, I never try to go into corridors like this, right? And then switch to the headshot and then hopefully get the guy. I would rather be, you know, at the headshot. So if somebody's coming right there, then I can just go bam, 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 bam. You know, get that perfect headshot. And recently I've been trying to peak corners before I actually go through it, like a Dalmas, I will just go through, like previously that was my game and I will get shot up, right, now I try to be a little bit cautious, just first get the head shot, right, I, I just estimate, predict where the head's gonna be, so it's gonna be right, right here, at that level, so I try to maneuvering, somebody's there, you know, just pop them right in the corner, or just predict, uh, like chess, check out the factors out, right, like, the enemies, if it's a good player, and they're camping, right, you're trying to get here and they have their objective, they're basically going to be over here, right, looking out, they're going to be like this, crawled up, trying to have a look, or they're going to be basically expecting you to come around the corner and try to do the same thing. <clears throat> so, uh, and... If you're lucky, you just have some dumbass player, like I said before, running like this. And it's easy picking because by the time you come around that corner and he's like this, it takes a millisecond for him to get his sight on it, try shooting, or he can just go like this and, and try doing that. But if you're already expecting, always expect a 300 pound uh, guy with a rusty knife, the, uh, like the chainsaw. Uh, with the chainsaw guy from Resident Evil 4 that you hear that chainsaw and you just run, right? So expect that the worst hideous creature you can imagine at every turn, right? So just just have a visual where the enemy is gonna most likely be. If, the, if you're playing Rush, most likely they're gonna be here, not most likely there. Yeah. So you want to do that in one one sweeping motion, you know, check, 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 don't even aim him, just have a quick look, that's gonna work on your reaction time, you know, just have a quick look, 
and then <coughs> in this spot. Always keep the radical at head level so you can get the easy, not the head level because if I don't control the recoil, it just climbs out. So if you keep it on the chest, that's three bullets. That's like 25 each. You need four bullets, right? To get get a guy down. And if you're lagging, it depends on what your ping is. <clears throat> My theory is if, if it's a four bar, right, if you're meant to be a five bar, but you have a four bar, it's going to take at least an extra bullet. If it's a three bar, uh, two extra bullets. And if you... Uh, if you're below three bars, don't, don't even go in that server because you're gonna get shot in the corner. You're like you'll be like this, but to his server, you're you're staring at him to his server. So even though you're behind the wall, you're still gonna get damaged. So you don't even bother. Three bars my limit. Let's see. But also also have that muscle memory uh, for your gun, right? So if you're used to a gun, just. See if I don't rec uh, control the recoil, just see what the tendency is. So it's like a, a right upwards recoil. So what you're just gonna do is before you start shooting, you just have the muscle memory in your thumbs and just predict it. Just predict. I found like four to five bursts to be most accurate, right? Uh, Close range just, close range just keep the reticle on them. Like just, you know, you get, you're gonna get that nice grouping. And if that's the chest, you know, that's a, like a millisecond and he's dead. Okay, I'm still the only one. <clears throat> but if it's long range, you're gonna go for that four to five bursts. Uh, just, just, and then, yeah. uh, out of bullets. So that's basically what I'm trying to do. And another thing that I uh, really like to do is, right, to get that twitch reaction. I normally, you know, I just go. The most hardest thing for gamers, for consoles anyway, is getting that circle, right? That circle kind of movement, that curvy. Because you can get that uh, linear motion, you know, that X. That's simple. But what if you have a, a jumping bunny? You, you have to practice, you know, spinning your reticle quick enough, quick enough. So what I like to do is get to, uh, like a circular object. Just follow, follow through it with my, uh, while aiming downside, just follow through it. And predict where the curve is going to be. And each time you make a round, just get, uh, get quicker and quicker. That was nice, that was nice. Keep it tight though. And then try without aiming down sights. And I swear your wrist is gonna get so sore because I'm not used to playing with my left hand. Uh, funny story actually. <clears throat> After you spill like two cups of tea on your controller, it's gonna get messed up. Uh, the, what happened was the I think my it dropped on my right analog stick, right? And uh, that's usually for aiming. When I was playing default, that's for aiming, doing this shit. What ended up happening is if I pressed uh, uh, after the accident, incident, as soon as I said, if I pressed uh, right, it would just keep going right. So even if I stopped uh, pressing it, it would just go keep going right. If I did the same thing to the left, so I had to, uh, and I was broke at the time. No money, so you have to adapt. Uh, I chose to uh, put it on South Pole, and the first time that I played it, I was like this the whole match. First time I swept it, because I still had that muscle memory, so I was like this the whole time and trying to aim. I, I was like, not even that quick. I was like this. If I wanted to get here, right? This is my first time playing the South Pole when I swept it. If I wanted to go from here. To here, it would be most more, most likely like this. I'd be like shooting. No, it would be like most like, and then I'll get here. So, I improved quite a lot. Even though I'm not left-handed, I think this is pretty decent. Uh, this is what helped me really improve. You know, just just quickly, just follow through the rims, predict 
the size shape uh, compared with the leg as well that I'm getting because I usually uh, we don't have New Zealand servers uh, it's uh, the best connection I can get is from Australian servers Australian because they're right like next to us but mostly I play on the US server <clears throat> because that's the one with the most availability I would say and I try So mostly, just do this, right? Just follow through the curvature, the circle, predict, and quickly just go to a, a linear, a straight object and just follow through it with your reticle or windows. And sometimes just just changes it up. And what I'm trying to get to you is just predict, you know? You already know that's a, a rectangle. You already know that's a rectangle and your brain already measured like how how much the height is so basically just predict and stop where you have to and just keep improving that's the difference between good players and bad players because bad players if the enemy is right there they'll come out they'll probably be walking like this or they'll probably have the radical too high then they have to have that automatic adjustment but always have it on height level where you think the enemy is going to be okay they're not going to be in here in here in here in this situation, see the enemy is going to be, could be, in any of these windows. Climbing in your windows. <laughs> that was a nice song. So, so what you have to do is just predict the most likely scenario. <laughs> most likely. If you have your teammate in that building, they already cut it out. Don't even worry about it. If you have a teammate right here, that you know the enemy is not going to be anywhere around it. Unless the buddies or I don't know what. But just cut that out. If they, if you have teammates over here, okay. Now this whole part is cancelled. Whole part is cancelled. The only thing you have to worry about is here and mainly this area. The, that's basically what I'm trying to do, and it really improves my game. If you go back and look at my previous gameplay, it was all choppy. I couldn't. If I wanted to get from here to here, it would most likely like this, like you do with your mouse. And have a decent uh, sensitivity. So that was that was my tips, guys. Southport Gaming. Uh, and if you like this commentary, please give it a please subscribe to my channel. Don't even bother with anything. Just subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Like that's all I want. <laughs> Just you to subscribe and leave a comment, please. And I'm gonna do this epic. And see you next time, guys. The fuck happened to my what? And I try doing this a lot. I just pretend these trees, uh, trees are enemies. Okay, so three enemies, right? So I try to uh, switch as quickly as I can. So I'm going to predict the head level is going to be right there, right? Head level is going to be here. Straight, straight, straight. Bam. Another enemy comes down. Bam. Another enemy. Bam. So go back. That's basically what I try to do.